Today we're going to be talking about lesson 5.5, five, which is on the triangle in the park. Theorem 5.11 from our book says, The sum of lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. It's called the triangle inequality theorem. So essentially it says this. If you have side AB and you add to it side BC, it has to be greater than side AC. Same with BC plus AC should be greater than AB, and AC plus AB should be greater than BC. So anytime you add two sides of a triangle, that sum should be greater than the third side. So let's look at an example of one. It says, is this possible to form a triangle with a given side length? If not, explain why. So I'm going to draw a triangle real quick. Now this is probably not drawn to scale, but if I say that this side is 8, this side is 15, and the longest side is 17. So what our triangle inequality says is that 8 plus 15 should be greater than 17. Well, 8 plus 15 is 23, and that's greater than 17. It also says, though, that 15 plus 17 should be greater than 8. Well, 15 plus 17 is greater than 8 because that adds up to 32, which is greater than 8. And then finding, finally, the last one is 8 and 17 should be greater than 15. Well, 8 plus 17 is greater than 15 because 8 plus 17 is 25 which is greater than 15. So does it work for all of them? The answer is yes, this is possible. Now, number eight. The way I like to check these is I basically look at the two smallest, because the two smallest should be added together, should be bigger than the greatest side. So I'm just going to look at the two smallest, eight and six, or six and eight. So six plus eight equals 14. But is 14 greater than 14? Well, the answer is no. It's equal to it. It's not greater than. So this one right here is not possible. Because they cannot be equal. They have to be greater than the longest side. Here's two problems for your guided practice. Try these now. Example two, if the measures of two sides of a triangle are three and seven, which is the least possible, so the important word there is least, smallest, possible whole number measure for the third side? Well, I have a triangle drawn right here. You'll see that I have sides of three, seven, and x, the missing side. So, if I tried A, 3 being the smallest side. Let's take the two smallest. So I would say the easiest is to take the two smallest sides, make sure it's bigger than the biggest side. So 3 and 3 are my two smallest sides. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Is 6 greater than 7? Well, it's not, so it can't be A. Let's try the next one. 4. 3 plus 4. Well, 3 plus 4 is going to be 7. Is that greater than 7? The answer is no, it is not. So it can't be B. Let's try the next one. 3 plus 5. Well, 3 plus 5 is 8. Is 8 greater than 7? It is. So I'll put a little check mark because that one works. And then finally, the last one 10 feet. Well, I'd want 3 plus 7, because those would be my two shortest sides, to be greater, greater than. 10. Well, 3 plus 7 is 10, so it's not greater than 10, so it can't be B. So the only answer that makes sense is C. There's a couple different ways you could do this. This is just one of them by trying all four. Here's another guided practice problem. Feel free to stop the video and try this one now. Alright, so we do have to start writing proofs using the triangle inequality. All of the proofs that we're going to write are super small, super quick, but we do have to figure out how to use them in a proof. So here's my real world problem. 
has to do with flying. The distance from Colorado Springs, Colorado, to Abilene, Texas, is the same as the distance from Colorado Springs to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Prove that the direct flight from Colorado Springs to Tulsa through Lincoln, Nebraska, is a greater distance than a nonstop from Colorado Springs to Abilene. All right, well, what they suggest doing is drawing a simple picture. So that's what we've done right here. We've drawn this simple picture right here. Instead of all these places and whatever else from the map, we decided to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so Colorado Springs is letter C. Lincoln is L. Tulsa is P. And Adelaide, Texas is A. So now we have it just a little bit easier. Now, the given information is that CA is equal to CT. Those two are equal. And it says that prove that CL plus LP is greater than CA. Okay? Now it doesn't make a triangle, but what we can see is that CLT, this triangle right here, does make a triangle. Alright? So let's start our proof. So first we write our given information is that CA is equal to CT. That's given. Now, according to the triangle inequality theorem, CL plus LP should be greater than CT. So CL plus LP is greater than CT. And that's the triangle inequality theorem. Okay, so that's what we've said this entire section, section uh, theorem 511, that CL plus LP has to be greater than CT. Now we see it says, okay, well CT is actually the same as CA. So I can just substitute for CT right here. And so I get CL plus LP is greater than by substitution. Proof. Here's the last guided practice problem. It says given that GL and LK are the same, prove that I H plus G H that must be J H plus G H is greater than J K. Right there. And you can do that again by writing a proof and using our triangle inequality theorem.